Yeah, I expect to probably see Torres a little bit higher up as part of that back three and Allen drop in to the midfield. Yeah, I think their 4-1-4-1 formation just allows them to stay in the game and be a little bit more defensively compact and organized. Charleston and Orange County underway here in South Carolina tonight. Free kick for the visitors in this one. Laced in, it takes a ricochet off of an Orange County head. And pretty quickly because the table below them is pretty tight. What a pass this is. Marcana gets shoved and it's a penalty. We highlighted the serviceability of Wanda V. Torres. There's a red card shown as well. So who else would it be other than the best goal scorer in North America this year? Nick Markanik closing in on the all-time lead in championship history for goal scoring. Looking to convert at the spot. Nick Markanik blasts it past Shuttler. Markanik scores for a 22nd time this year. Battery lead 1-0. If they let their frustration get the better them. Arturo Rodriguez into the hands of Shuttler. It's a good strike there from Rodriguez, but Shuttler was well positioned. He makes it look far easier than it was. Over the wall, dipping on target, but Shuttler's position in anticipation made it look like a straightforward save. Another foul. When the players do start to get tired, it's going to be very difficult for Orange County. Dos Santos had the right idea for Torres. Allen turns back on it. It's very much a, a training Chapman session. Chapman lost it. Conway settles. And he hits it just over the top. What an excellent ball that was floating in here for Conway. A little bit too much power on the ball. It's a great chip over the top here. A great first touch. Slams it with his left foot. Allen nearly ran into Arturo Rodriguez. Now it's Rodriguez in a spot. Lifts this ball along. It's a good run here. Segbers pokes it over. Conway. Rodriguez. Just too much on that pass. And you wonder if Segbers could have just hit it first time. Yeah, Segbers just didn't soften the ball when it came onto his chest and it just ran away from him a little bit. It's smart to try and square across goal, but again, it starts from Rodriguez having time and space on the edge of the ball to pick his head up and play forward. Torres blasts this ball and Shuttler gets a hand on it to guide it over. Playing with 10. Orange County hasn't been able to get anything in the attack, but just a one goal differential right now. All they need is a little bit of a slippage and a break and Maybe they can get something out of this here. Charleston looks for a second. Yeah, you have to give Orange County credit. You know, they're down a man, they're away from home in Charleston against a team that's second in the table. And you, right now they're doing a good job of frustrating them. Take away the, the penalty opportunity and it, you're probably looking at a tight game in the way that, that things are flowing right now. This ball comes out, Rodriguez on the volley. Stings the strings and makes it 2-0 for Charleston. Of course, just when I'm talking about how Orange County are uh, frustrating Charleston, Rodriguez pops up at the edge of the box unmarked and hits an absolutely beautiful half volley along the floor into the back of the net. And he has the ability to get it up and go over the wall to the goalkeeper's left. Juan David Torres blasts this ball on top of the netting. This corner kick wrapping around. Leland Archer gets his head on it. And there's your first half whistle. So 45 minutes down, and it's all Charleston right now. Well, when you look at Orange County, you're looking, where do the goals come from for Orange County? Juan David Torres lofts this ball, back post. Markanic! Spectacular! What an incredible volley that is to torch the threads and make it 3-0. A brace for North America's leading goal scorer. Twenty-third goal for Markanich.
take nothing away. Yes, he's got time and space, but the technique on that strike is absolutely unbelievable. The connection, the eye, the coordination, the venom on the strike. Give Charlotte absolutely no chance. Here's this cross. Torres measures. Juan the V Torres. There's some spillage here. Loose Dos Santos. Just miss hits it in the end. And now and give them a little bit of exposure. Or if they're able to pick up results and really continue their, their push for the playoffs. I think at some point there comes a time when you start to plan for the following year. There's a foul, and I see a red card as well. It's another red card, and this one looks like it's going on Charleston. Dramatic here, it's Nakeem that goes down. A little pull on the jersey, that's it. Bad news for Orange County is that Myers comes in, who has 11 goals so far this season. So the goal threat, you quickly find yourself back into those middle pack of playoff positions, so... They're not a team to be, be underestimated, of course. Bob Lee runs a very tight ship over there. Myers has it wide. So far tonight, if they'd have kept being able to keep the clean, well, keep 11 players on the field, keep a clean sheet, it was always going to be the opportunity to salvage something from the game. However, they didn't get off to a great start. Here's Torres. It's MD Myers. That ball just does skip away from him. Back on it, Robbie Crawford. Crawford cuts it back. Myers pokes it, and it trickles past Shuttler. MD Myers scores for the third time in four matches. It's 4 0 battery. And it's a Diamonds Direct dazzling play. And Myers knows himself that he, got, he can thank Crawford here that he got a second bite of the apple because his first touch let him down the first time. Great play again from Torres. Talk about a fortress, and that's what makes that player's shield battle even more interesting. Lou City's incredible at home. Charleston's unbelievable at home. Only one of the two can have home field advantage in the East. That's why I think finishing number one is so important, to have that advantage. You know Louisville sell out that stadium, 13,000 fans for those big games, and that... It's almost like in having an extra player on the field with you for those big moments. So that is definitely gonna, gonna be a factor in those big games. Here's a chase from Ikaza. Emilio Ikaza sprinting. Emilio Ikaza cuts it back. Marcanic powers this with a right foot. It ripples the rope, and it's a hat trick for the leader in the USL Championship in goals, his 24th of the season. Now we get a smile. Now we get a smile. He's got his hat trick. Two of his left foot, one with his right foot. Well, tonight for Charleston, this is match number 26. It's the seventh time they've scored at least four. Myers wants to make it six. MD Myers right into the clutches of Shuttler. Rodriguez and Myers have added the others. 10 v 10 we go. On the overlap, more space, springing to action. Crawford's the target. Gimmer Ice sends it away. Myers holds it up. Torres, no looks. Myers swings it around. Myers toe pokes it in. It's a brace for MD Myers and a sixth goal of the night for the battery, scoring for fun this evening. And again, it's Torres who has a huge role to play in this. I told you there was gonna be more goals. Myers looked hungry. He's had a few strikes. Less than five minutes, it's actually time. This ball bounces around, goes to Grinwis. And there's your full-time whistle. A dazzling performance tonight from Charleston, pulling back within a point for the Players' Shield lead.